these soles, <coughs> she says, with a cough. Um, I'm just going to do um, something a little different for me. Um, and I just thought I'd try out some new makeup and bring this to you because I find like makeup for me is I'm, I love makeup absolutely love makeup I love not wearing it but I also love wearing it and for me I've I've done my own makeup from like the age of nine um, because of like dance competitions and stuff so and I used to spend about an hour putting on makeup in my younger days um, that was the time when I used to hide myself behind my makeup um, through anxiety and actually I am now at the point where I can just throw it on and be fine like I don't need makeup on um, but I love it I absolutely love makeup so I'm just going to take you through a little bit of it because I've got some new products so I thought oh Let's just take you through some little newbies um, and see what happens. Because with my skin as well, it's like it's, well, it is classed as aging skin, being 43 and all. So my skin is changing. It's getting older. I'm heading for the change. All of that. Um, so I think to be fair... My skin is pretty in, in pretty good shape. Like I hydrate quite a lot. I drink a lot of water. Um, it was a bit of a teenage spot issue. So I still get like little issues. But in fairness, it is pretty good skin. It's got like red blotchy bits. But to be fair, it's good. Oh, I have these like little holes as well. Like big pores in my head. Um, but I don't mind them. And then there's my, <laughs> my little wrinkles, which... I'm not too bad to be fair not too bad I'm not panicking um, and I don't think I ever will it's, it's just part of life so I'm gonna as my mum says grow old disgracefully I mean I'll never be as disgraceful as she is oh, that's my mum <laughs> um, so yeah I just thought I'd try out some of these cutie new products I've just moisturized Let's see I really wanted to try some um, some foundation that gives me a little bit of coverage but it's not thick okay so i'm used to quite thick makeup but i with it coming up summer i'm like no i want to try something different so i've gone for the rimmel match perfection and this is invisible courage courage invisible coverage but it's also got the spf which is the thing that i really want uh, so i've matched this i got some help matching this actually in store Okay, so it's quite light. I'm liking this. It's actually really very light. Whether it's going to cover enough, I'm not sure. But we are going to be able to see that in a second. Like I said, I don't want anything too... Like, too thick, too... I don't know how you say it. Um, like I just want a light coverage. I think when it be, when it's the, I'm really tired, so my words are getting a bit mixed up. <laughs> Thanks, Fibro, for reminding me just to slow down. Um, so when the weather turns, which it has, it started to get quite warm here. Um. I go for it definitely go for something much much lighter and most of the days like I work at home so when the sun comes out I work in my garden so I very 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 rarely put makeup on um, but always sun protection always um okay so that has gone on I feel like that is covered Okay, so I'm I'm really liking the coverage here. I'm really I'm liking the lightness of this, the invisibleness. Is that even a, I don't know the invisibleness of this. It's really nice. And then for the concealer, I wanted something because my eyes were starting to look a little bit dark um, on some of my photos. So I went for the matching match perfection. 
concealer and it's skin tone adapting so i was like okay let's give this a try um and this is oh it's got a brush okay this is interesting normally when i do things like this everything just squirts out everywhere oh okay i don't think i'm going to use the brush to uh just apply it with the brush and then I'm going to blend it with and I can really see like it changing the shade under my eyes which is what I wanted just lightening it up and again it's just blending really really nicely Ooh, ooh. I have this like vein as well here in my corner of my eye and I mean, it's not covering it totally, but, but that's fine because I know what it is. Um, but sometimes it can look, if I've got like eyeliner on, it can look like my eyeliner is smudging. It's not as dark on this side. But I don't want it to look like my eyeliner is smudging. Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear, I love that. So classy. So that again has gone on really nicely. Very, very light. Now I've got this other product. I'm not sure whether to put this on the side or not. But I'm, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. So this is a NYX Wonder Stick. Okay, so this is the contour stick. And I'm just going to do it because I want to give it a go. I want to see what happens. Especially with this light makeup. So I'm just going to do what I know how and get my angled brush for okay so normally I would go like this here 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 and here so I'm not putting too much on I don't want it to be too much today and then this is the other side so this is one side this is the other side look which is pretty cool and it's got a really nice sort of on this side like highlightery sort of glow to it okay so i'm going in with the dark and again not too much because i really don't want too much going on today Okay, so I'm just going to blend. I think I need to just, I like my brushes a little bit moist, moist when I'm blending, just so that it doesn't sort of stick too much. Okay, let's just give that a whiz. And no um, comments about the how of this application. I'm not a makeup professional. I've just done my own makeup a long time. Um, like I said, I do like to sort of sometimes just throw it on. So there's never going to be like a process of mm, being really gentle here. Okay. Again, I'm liking the blendage, if that's a word. I'm liking the blendage going on here because... It's just all sort of merging into one. Now, when I've used contour before, I've had products that have been too dark or too thick, and they've, they've just not done what I wanted them to do. Going in for the nose. Let's just go. It's always the nose that gets me. Like, I'm always like, how the hell do I do the nose? What do I do it with? <laughs> But I'm just sticking to what I'm using just because I want to show like maybe some of the older generation like myself like that it's possible to contour even at even at an older age and it is it's so possible that is lovely I'm really 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 liking this makeup it's so like feels like I've got nothing on it feels so beautiful and I love it. I love, love, love this. 
okay so that's that and then i'm just going to go in so this is the rimmel natural bronzer and i'm just going to here go with a little bit on the high cheek here just blend that out and up don't particularly want any more on but this is a really good sort of this is quite dark so you only need a little bit and actually again it blends really really nicely like really nicely like I'm loving how this is blending okay and then the last little bit is the highlight so this is a new highlight for me this is Ariana Grande's REM beauty this is Miss Mercury highlight beautiful and take the little fan brush I always wonder what these were for I learned this weekend what these were for <laughs> and I figured wow yes of course so just a little bit on like one end and I just sort of brush it gently down from the cheekbone here and then just sort of fan it up as well absolutely gorgeous spot on and then I'm just going to do a little bit down the nose and on top of the lip as well so there's not much product on that at all not a lot at all I'm not going to go with eye, eye makeup today I'm not going to do my eyebrows my eyebrows are quite actually um they're quite good eyebrows um <laughs> this is not a new product however I do this is one of my fave mascaras the roller lash from benefit so I'm just going to whiz this on So as I've put my mascara on, I've got a little bit under here. Um, so I'm just going to leave that to dry and I'm going to show you how to take that off in a second. And then for my eyebrows, I'm just going to, I mean, this brush has just about had it. I mean, it's pretty gratifying. But my eyebrows are really wiry, so they get a little bit out of control. Um, so this product is actually a hair product got to be glued the best product for wiry eyebrows and it's the only product that i've ever used that has really tamed them and kept them in place like all day so just a smidge on a mascara brush and then just brush into place see how that's worked I mean oh, amazing amazing so that is that and then I've got this other little thing here let me just see if this will come off here normally you sort of wait till it dries properly so I just take a little mascara brush and just brush underneath where you've got the mascara on your skin or on top, sorted. I can see actually my crease coming in on my eyelid, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit, tiny, tiny smidges of primer, which I always forget. I'm just gonna pop that on there. I'm trying to do this with the other hand, absolutely just switch it over. <laughs> And that is that. And then I've got this as well. So this is the NYX Jumbo White Pencil. And I love a white pencil. And this is this can be used for so many things. Can't get the lid off. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm just going to see if this works just on the lash line, just to brighten up. Oh my gosh, it does. Just to brighten it up. I don't go right into the lash line. I kind of stay as close to the lashes as I can and then maybe just a smidge smidgy smoo in the corner just to really open up the eyes a little bit more and that is almost done we're just going to now add the mm, now how do we say this I'm not sure is it Mina hmm doesn't 
even give me the color there, the 503. Okay, 503. I want to say Mina. Mina, Mina, 503 lip pencil and lipstick. So I'm just going to go in with that now. I will pop some links below for all of these beautiful products. And if you have uh -uh, any questions based on anything that you've seen in this little cheeky video, just ask away. I will come in and answer. Um, and then I'm just going to finish my beautiful face of makeup with this. It's the NYX Dewy Finish Fini Satin. Or fin satin whatever setting spray love it there we go a bit of setting spray all done and that let me just swap you over to see a different light angle very very um basic face <laughs> basic <laughs> so basic um but yeah um really light really it feels very airy so yeah that is that and i will catch you again on the socials see you soon thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe press the little button and come follow me on the other socials uh link my link for everything that i do give and have is everything is all down it's all downstairs <laughs> it's all down below oh my god i'm gonna go i love you you're gorgeous see you soon